Welcome to Data Doctor's video, The Spreadsheet, Part 1. This index lists beginning times of each segment, so you can fast forward to any of particular interest. To get to the spreadsheet, go to the Data Doctor's project page and click on the spreadsheet link. It can also be reached from any suggestion help page in the info box and on any other page managed by the Data Doctor's project. And here it is. It might be beneficial to bookmark it. A spreadsheet of what, you might ask? Suggestions for the current and last week. How is it different from the weekly suggestions report? It allows you to mark what you've done and are working on and to see where others are working. So, let's figure this thing out. The spreadsheet is in Google Sheets. In my opinion, the most important feature is the Oops or Undo button at the top left corner. If you break it, you can restore it with one click. Note, Control z works too. On the Suggestions Worksheet, on the far left are numbered rows. Most of them are filled with suggestion numbers and names listed by group, such as date, name, relation, etc. Across the top in row 3 are ranges of dates for each group of suggestions, along with columns of total numbers. The rows and columns form a grid of individual cells. So if someone is talking to you about C24, they mean column C, row 24, kind of like the game's Battleship or Chess. If you're trying to decide which suggestion to work on, clicking the link of the suggestion name will take you to the suggestions help page, explaining that suggestion with links to any appropriate videos. At the very top right is a row of circles. These circles identify who is online. The circle on the far right opens the chat box. You may use this worksheet without adding your email address, but your address is needed to use the chat function. If you want to use this feature, please send a private message through Wikitree to Tibbetts150 to have your email added. At the very bottom is a row of tabs which open to different worksheets. You are welcome to click on all of them to see what they offer. However, there are a few of primary interest which are discussed in this video. This shows the unsourced profiles by geographical location. Not all of the links go to finished pages, but let's check out how it looks for the state of Texas. Click on the URL that appears over that state. The next screen, the Texas Unsourced Profiles category page, allows you to refine your search. The information box at the top gives time frames to search. Below that is a breakdown of all unsourced Texas profiles for the time periods indicated. Underneath that is a list of individual profiles for you to choose from. This shows state names by time frame, when they were territories, and when they joined the United States. The links go to more info on Wikipedia. If a cell has a black corner, it contains helpful notes. The info spreadsheet contains links to valuable information, which make it easier to find things on Wikitree, like useful categories, popular stickers, mentor intervention, FAG template use, and other tools. If you know a tip or link that isn't present, feel free to add it. Let's click on the entry for line 49 concerning census records. This is just one of the many helpful researching tools made available. Please see the spreadsheet part two for discussion on the weekly challenge worksheet and on working with a profile for a challenge.